Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Great, great, great. Excellent. So how was your day? Okay, okay, so we are just going to give two more minutes, you know, at eight o'clock, we are uh, sorry, at seven o'clock, we are going to start, okay? So let's see. All right, everybody, it's seven o'clock, so it's time to start the class, right? So officially, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the class. We are going to be practicing new information tonight, right? I, I really thank you so much for your punctuality, right? So for joining the class on time. And, uh, well, I invite you to participate in all the activities that we have prepared for you tonight, all right? So, well, um, good evening, Carlos, David, Maria, and Saul, right? So we are going to start right now. So let's see, what's the first activity we have for today right here? So it's this one that you can see there. We're talking about multicultural cities. All right, everybody, please repeat it with me. Multicultural cities, repeat it. Multicultural city. That is correct. So in uh, in your opinion right so what is a multicultural city mm -hmm. what is a multicultural city a multicultural city what is it mm -hmm. new york city mm -hmm. exactly um, uh -huh. um, I know cities. <laughs> London, Sydney, etc. Right? So, well, the multicultural city, it is actually this one right here. Toronto City. Toronto, exactly. All right. So, a multicultural city, it's a city where many people from different countries live. So, for example, we have there four cities that have people from all over the world, right? So for example, there we have a, in New York, we have people from China, from Colombia, China, Colombia, mm -hmm, Haiti, uh, Haiti Mexico, Mexico, and the Philippines. The, the Philippines. Exactly, right? What about London? 
uh, what are the nationalities of the people who live in London? Ghana. Ghana would be that one. Chin Chines? China. China. India. Mm -hmm. Niger. Nigeria and Nigeria. Pakistan. Pakistan. Exactly. What about Sydney? Sydney is Greece. 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 Uh -huh. China. China. Uh -huh. China. In the Indonesia, Indonesia, Italy, uh, Italy Vietnam. and Vietnam. And Vietnam. the last one, what about Toronto? China, China, correct. In India, Italy, Italy, pa Pakistan, Por Portugal, Portugal, Vietnam. Yeah, and Vietnam. All right, excellent. So, thank you. As you can see. In those cities, we have people from different countries or different nationalities living in those big cities, right? So that is actually a multicultural city. And it's multicultural because they have different customs, they have different uh, beliefs, they have different uh, cultures, of course, right? So, for example, imagine uh, a Chinese person, right? So they actually have something completely different from a Mexican person or from someone from Colombia, right? Uh, the thing, someone from Pakistan or someone from, um, you know, Italy, they eat different type of food, they drink different type of beverages, etc. Right. So that's the reason why uh, it is a multicultural city. So now, let's see. Let me ask you the question so you can see there on the screen. All right. So for example, who can help me to read the question number one right here? Question number one, this one. Mm -hmm. What is it? What do you think that city have so many immigrants? Aha, uh -huh, exactly, right? It says here, what do you think these cities have so many immigrants, all right? In your opinion, why do you think the cities have um, a lot of immigrants? Why? Mm -hmm. Be, because there, there is there, there are many opportunities to to a better life maybe oh, that would be a, a one of them so a good evening El mundo by the way all right mm -hmm. so uh, yeah that's the reason why we have you know a lot of people living in those cities because as, as you said before they have more opportunities in those countries right uh, okay thank you mm -hmm. all right so maria you were going to say something can you please tell me Yes. Okay. No problem. All right. So let's see. And what about the next question that we have right there? All right. So the question number two, it says right there, um, you know, are there any immigrants in your city and where are they from originally? All right. So let's see. So you guys, I'm, I'm, I, I guess everybody's from San Salvador, right? So let's see. Uh, do you think that we have a lot of immigrants in San Salvador nowadays? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. All Very right. Many immigrants. Yes. Okay. Uh, great. I saw uh, on from Guatemala. Mm -hmm. they, they, yeah. Person Nicara. They they come they, this country to to sell many products. So yes. many products. Okay, very good. That's interesting. So now imagine also to work. to work. Exactly, right? So now El Salvador yeah, or San yeah. Salvador, it's becoming yeah. a multicultural city, right? So because we have people from different nationalities, and not only mm -hmm. from Central America, like Guatemala and Nicaragua, we also yeah. have people from other nationalities. Like I have had the opportunity to see Colombian people. Colombian people, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and you know, Colombian people, they like to sell products a lot, right? Yeah. They, they try to convince you to buy the products, right? And they are very good at yeah, it. Yeah. Yes, of course, right? And um, also, I have seen as well many, many people from Mexico City here, from, from Mexico. There are a lot of Mexican people here. And normally, what they do, Mexican people, they open restaurants. Because that's like, they, they like to prepare food, Mexican food, right? So, well, thank you. And thank you for joining this one. So, let's just... Also, also Chinese people, too. Oh, it's true. You know, Chinese yeah. people. 
Yes. We also open restaurants, yeah? Yes, open uh, many, many restaurants. Many, many restaurants, yes. all right? Yes. So that's true, that's true. Have you ever had the opportunity to go to those Chinese restaurants? Yes. All right, excellent. So were they real yes. Chinese people? Yes. Yeah, right. they, speak, they, they speak Spanish, no problem. <laughs> yeah, right. So, a uh, kind of a Spanish, right? Yeah, kind, of, yeah. Kind of a Spanish, all right. So, well, excellent. Thank you very much for sharing, um, you know, your answers with me. So now let's just move quickly to the next activity we have right here, which is going to be a conversation, all right. So, pay attention, everybody, because I need a lot of people who participate in this one all right so remember we are going to role play this conversation right now i am going to read it for you all right so you can check the pronunciation and the intonation and then you are going to work in, in couples right with a partner and then you're going to perform the the conversation here all right so let's see it says oh i'm really sorry are you okay i'm fine but I'm not very good at this. Neither am I. Say, are you from South America? Yes. I'm originally, I was born in Argentina. Did you grow up there? Yes, I did. But my family moved here eight years ago when I was in high school. And where did you learn to roll blade? Here in the park. This is only my second time. Well, it's my first time. Can you give me some lessons? Sure. Just follow me. By the way, my name is Ted. I'm Anna. Nice to meet you. Easy, right? Super easy. Okay, let's see. Uh, do you have questions before we uh, I start listening to you? Do you have questions about the pronunciation of any word? Anything that you don't understand there? Any phrase or expression that you want me to, um, I don't know, to, to, to repeat? Uh, maybe roller, rollerblade? Rollerblade, rollerblade, it's uh, these things that you can see here. I don't know if you can see here in the image. Yeah, 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 I can see it. I, but the pronunciation. It's like the way you said it, rollerblade. Uh, rollerblade, okay, Correct. thank you. You're welcome. Any other word? Mm -mm. No words? Okay, excellent. So I would like to listen to my first two volunteers right oh, now. Yeah, really well. Me. Maria and Edmundo. Okay, very you good. Say? So Edmundo, uh, you're going to uh, be dead. And Anna. I'll be dead. Okay, very good. Oh, I'm really sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. But I'm not very good at this. Neither am I. I said, are you from South America? Yes, I am. Originally, I was born in Argentina. Did you grow up there? Yes, I did. But my family moved here a year out when I was in high school. And where did you learn to rollerblade? Here I am the park. This is only my second time. Well, this is my first time. Can you give me some lessons? Sure. Just follow me. By the way, my name is Tel. And I am Anna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. That was actually a very good job, right? So thank you for following the yeah, conversation, welcome. right? So that was a good, good, good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right? Good, good, good. Now, uh, do we have any other volunteer? I need two more people. Two more volunteers. Who is it? Okay, ever, and I need one more, please. David, okay. Okay, okay. So I then decide, guys, who's going to be Ted and who's going to be Anna. Oh, I am really sorry. Are you okay? Ever, the microphone. I'm fine. But I'm, I'm not very good at this. Neither teacher. Pronunciation neither. 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 Neither and I say are you from South America? 
Yes, I am originally. Originally, I was born in Argentina. Did you grow up there? Yes, I did. But my family moved moved here eight years ago. Eight ago when I was in high school. In where did you learn to rollerblade? Here in the park. This is only my second time. Well, it's my first time. Can you give me some lessons? Sure. Just follow me. Bye. The why? My name is Ted. And I am Anna. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you very much, my friends. That was actually super good. Let's review some words right here that they cause some confusion when you were practicing them. All right. And the first one is this one. Repeat it, please. Neither. Repeat it. Neither. Neither. Thank you. All right. And then. Yeah. By, by the way, teacher. By the way. Correct. One more time. By the way. By the way. By the way. Exactly. By right. The way. Which it means, por cierto. Right. So by the way. That's what it means. By the way. By the way. Por cierto. Exactly. All right. So then other than that, you were doing a very good job on this one. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, well, let's say this one. Um, well, what about having two volunteers more? Uh-huh, people. Remember, I want you to participate. Let me hear two more people. Uh-huh. Hello, hello. Uh, I am teacher. Wilbur. All right. Hello, Wilbur. And anybody else? One more, please. One more. Let's see who is going to help Wilbur. Saul, thank you, Saul. All right, so Saul and Wilmer, go ahead. Okay. Oh, I am really sorry. Are you okay? I fight, but I am not very good at this. Neither am I say, are you from South America? Yes, I am. Originally, I was born in Argentina. Did you grow up there? Yes, I did. But my family moved here eight years ago when I was in high school. Move it. Um, where did you learn to roll the what is it ahí, teacher? Robert. Roller blade. Roller blade. Roller blade. Right. Here in the park. This is only my second time. Well, it's my first time. Can you give give me some lesson? Sure. Just follow me. Be be they why my name nice. is be they why my name is by Ted. that way and I am Anna. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, excellent. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate the effort, right? Now let's review the pronunciation of some words here. So for example, this one, the one we have here, I know it's the way you're writing in Spanish and in English is exactly the same word. In Spanish will be Argentina, but in English will be Argentina. Repeat it. Argentina. 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 Very good. Argentina. Excellent. Argentina. This one right Argentina. here, you Thanks. don't say move it. No se divide en dos sílabas, sino que es move. una sola. All right. So, sería moved. Moved. Moved here. Moved here. here. Moved. All right. Moved. So, it would be something similar to, like, if you're saying, for example, uh, this one moved, moved like that move 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 all right so move. let's see then you go on this one learn repeat it learn 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 learn, learn. 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 sorry learn. Roller and then you go this one roller blade repeat it. roller blade roller you mean a roller blade teacher roller blade my friend it's this take a look what oh 
Flor de Patines. Mm -hmm. That's correct. All right. So, and then this one right here, only. Repeat it, only. Only. There you go. Excellent. So, then you got this one. This one, aunque lleva una I, no se pronuncia la I como tal, sino que sería first. First time. First time, exactly, right? And remember, how, how do we say that this is the pronunciation of this word? By the way. By the way. Uh -huh. By the way. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, everybody, for participating in this activity right now. Before I move to the next activity, let me check attendance here quickly. So let's see. Uh, Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Hello? Yes? No? Okay. Uh, Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. No. All right. Carlos Alberto Santos. Neither. Uh, Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see here. David Antonio Rosales. Thank you. Edith Consuelo Represa. Okay. Um, Edmundo Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Enrique Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. In English, please. Uh -huh. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. So, Erika Beatriz. All right. So, Ever Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. Franklin De La O. Present teacher, present. Thank you very much. All right, Herbert Aristides. Okay, uh, Jose Benjamin. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, Maria Cedillos. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Thank you. Santos Mauricio. And um, let's see, Saul Ernesto. Present, teacher. And Wilber Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, let's just continue with the next activity here. Okay, so let's see. So this is the grammar. I mean, this is a conversation, a question, conversations here, question, sorry, that we are going to be answering based on the conversation we were reading before. So let's see if you remember. I need a volunteer for number one. Who's my volunteer for number one? Read it, just for reading. Volunteer? Me. What thank is you. on the phone? Uh -huh, thank you. And can you tell me the answer? She's from Argentina. Yes, right. So she is from Argentina. Very good, excellent, thank you. Volunteer for number two? Yes, 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 number two. Hello, hello, volunteers. Yes. Hi, teacher. Thank you, Wilbur, please read the question. When did Uh, pardon. When did Anna move it to Argentina? Uh -huh. When did Anna move to Argentina? When? What's the answer, Wilbur? When? What is when, my friends? When do? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. When? When did she move to Argentina? Uh, uh -huh. Yes? No answer? Cuando Ana se mudó a Argentina o algo por el estilo. That is actually correct. Aunque okay, aquí hay un pequeño mistake que vamos a arreglar in this okay. moment here. It's supposed to be here from. Mm -hmm. Yes, from Argentina. Okay, ahí estamos. Ajá, from Argentina. So, what is it? 
When people remember that in the conversation? Let's see. Can you tell me? Thank you. Exactly. Hey. All right. So that will be, oops, excuse me. All right. So that will be eight years ago. Yes, that's correct. Eight years ago. Thank you. All right. So number three, volunteer for reading question number three. What is similar to roller blade? Roller blade. Where exactly? In the park. In the park. That is correct. There you go. Excellent. And then number four, number four, number four, volunteer. Yes, yes, yes. Just for reading. Come on, go How ahead. How many times has that practice? Thank you. How many times has that practice? And what's the answer, mm -hmm. my friend? Just one. Just one. It's the first time. It's the first time, yeah. Exactly. All right. So. And how many times has Anna practiced? Do you remember that? Second time. Two it's time. a second time, so you can say, how do you say this one? And you can say twice. Mm -hmm. Which it means those veces. Like that. Twice, those veces. Okay, excellent, 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 excellent. Okay, very good. So questions about the questions? <laughs> no? No problem. Thank you very much. And now let's no go to, this, no to the grammar part right here. All right. So everybody, we are going to be talking about the grammar structure now. So in for today's class, we will be talking about the past tense. All right. Specifically about the verb to be in simple past, right? Which is expressions or the auxiliaries was and where. Here we have some examples. We can see here where were you Perfect. born, all right? So this is an example of a question. So, uh, or uh, what was this one? How would you translate this into Spanish? Where were you born? Donde naciste? Donde naciste, all right? So where you born? Where you born, like this one. Y aquí dice, I was born in South America. Que sería yo, what? Yo nací en... Suramérica. Sure. All right, excellent. So, and then, si yo quisiera preguntar specifically, que si nació en un país specific. All right, so I can say, like, where are you born in, in this case, Brazil? All right, so where are you born in Brazil? ¿Cómo preguntarías entonces, naciste en El Salvador? Naciste. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo preguntarías eso? Where, where are you born in El Salvador? Where are you born in El Salvador? Exactly, right? So, and you can say, yes, I was born in El Salvador, etc. Right, veamos, let's see. If I ask you the question, Saul, were you born in Nicaragua? No, I wasn't. Exactly, no, I wasn't. ¿Y dónde nació? I was, I was born in El Salvador. In El Salvador, exactly. Uh, All right. No, I so, wasn't. Uh, I Maria, was in El Salvador. Maria, Maria, were you born in Mexico? No, I wasn't. I was in El Salvador. I was born. I was born in El Salvador. Es que el internet me corta, picha. Okay. Thank you. But thank you for trying, all right? Y aquí tenemos also like this structure right here with this one, all right? Which is super important right here. Y con el past tense también utilizamos el auxiliar did here para los otros verbos, right? En este caso es el verbo grow y el verbo mudarse, move. All right? So, que es crecer. So, dice aquí... Where did you grow up, right? How would you translate this sentence into Spanish? Donde creciste. Donde creciste. And this, the second one right here. When did you move here? A donde, cuando te moviste. Cuando te moviste ahí, all right? Exactly. So in this one, ahora que pasa con this one. With the simple past, my friends, in this case right here, I am going to use the auxiliary did, all right, to, uh, in questions, in negatives, of course, right? But when I have an affirmative sentence, I am going to use the past version of the verbs. So, for example, the past of grow, it's grew. And the past of move, it's moved, right? So this one is irregular and this one is regular because it has ED. So this is like the, 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 the general rule, right? Again, 
for questions we use did, all right? And as I said before, you can use didn't or did not when you want to talk about negative, all right? So, uh, for example, if I want to say, um, let's see, Edmundo, did you study in Guatemala? Uh, I didn't. Exactly, right? So, I was said didn't. ¿Por qué didn't y no wasn't, Edmundo? Why? Because uh, they actually did. Exactly, yeah. right? So, este solamente es, like, for example, ser o estar, right? So, o per verbo nacer, was born. Like that one. Okay. Very good. So do you have questions about this short explanation? No? Okay, no worries. If you have questions, we can actually clarify them later. And we have another thing right here. Let's actually learn how to use this one, okay? So here we have this chart that explains this better and you guys can actually see this in a better way. All right, so what's and where with the verb uh, to be, right? Um, well, Let's say this one. So we have the affirmative section right here. And then we have this one. Take a look. It says here that we are going to use two auxiliaries in the simple past, talking about the verb to be. The first one, it's going to be was. Yeah. And the second one is going to be where, right? What is the meaning of was and where? As I was saying before, it would be a cero estar in past. So yo fui, yo estuve, ella fue, ella estuvo, etc. Right? So, but how are we going to use it? It's going to be very simple. In the affirmative sentences, you are going to use this one normally with um, with the uh, adjectives, right? So, with adjectives. ¿Por qué con adjectives? Porque este no se puede usar con otro verbo porque like, yo fui comí, no, right? Yo fui, hablé, it doesn't actually sound good. Pero con adjectives sounds better, like for example, the one we have here. So this one says, yo estaba feliz, feliz for example, all right? Or, él no estaba hambriento, right? So that's how it sounds. Yeah. Entonces, todos yeah. estos, esos que están aquí son adjetivos, all right? Or this one, in this case here, it's un noun, que es una profesión en este caso, right? So, uh, for example, she was a nurse, he was a doctor, etc., right? So... And then you go on this one. Entonces, super important right here. With those subjects, I, he, she, and it, you are going to be using was. Was, was, was. Right? I was happy. He was hungry. She was and worse. It was big. But with the, the subjects, we, you, and they, my friends, we are going to use where. Where, where, where. Hey, what's the meaning of where or do they change? Well, they basically mean the same, right? So, but in plural. So, eh, nosotros estábamos a tiempo, no, tú, ustedes, o tú estabas en la escuela, ellos estaban callados, right? That's what I mean. That's what this means right here. Eh, questions of, uh, about the affirmative? No question. Sure. Okay, so now let's just go for the negative. You can see here, wasn't, all right? Uh, but what's the meaning of wasn't? So it says the contraction for was not, all right? So uh, teacher, what is more common to say wasn't or to say was not? Both are perfectly common. You can use it as you prefer, right? Normally for texting, it is more common to use wasn't, the contraction. But speaking, it doesn't really matter. So you can say was not or wasn't, right? So they both are uh, very common. In a... Uh, the same distribution here. So for I, he, she, and it, we are going to use wasn't. And for we, you, and they, we are going to use weren't, which is the abbreviation or well, the contraction for were not. Okay. So then, uh, questions about the negative part? No questions about the negatives? No question. Okay, excellent. So, and then you go this one right here. For the questions, the questions structure, right? The questions structure, it's very simple. So we have to switch the position of the words and pay attention to this one right here. Una oración afirmativa sería, they were happy. How do you say this in Spanish? They were happy. Estaban yeah. felices. Ellos estaban felices. Ellos very estaban good. felices. Very okay. good. Excellent. And then to make it question, we are going to change it. All right. So 
where pasa principio o was cuando corresponda. All right. Then we have the subject and then we have the complement. Let's say it's super important, a question mark. All right. And then you go and say like, were they happy? Repeat. Were they happy? Were they, were happy? they happy? There you go. And now, how do you translate that question into Spanish? Estaban ellos felices? Estaban, Estaban ellos felices. felices. Exactly. Right. So like that. And then you it have two is. possible short answers. You can say, yes, they were or no, they weren't. Esa es una respuesta bastante corta. All right. Dependiendo del sujeto. Y así será la auxiliar también. So, for example, let's use C Dragon and check this one. This is my sentence, um, my affirmative sentence. She was sad. How would you say this one as a question? Was she sad? Was the question she mark. Sad is the question mark. question mark. If I want to say that she was happy, I mean, she was sad. How do you say that one? Si la de, ¿Cómo respondemos que sí de manera corta? En ese caso, para esa question. Yes, she, she was. Yes, she yes. was. Yes, she, she was. No, and no, she was. She wasn't. No, she wasn't. She wasn't. No, she wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't. Exactly. All right. And as you can see, this one right here as well, that's what happened. So in those cases, aquí estamos utilizando was. Por eso es que aquí el auxiliar al principio va a ser was y no where como estaba aquí. Y la respuesta es, she was or she wasn't, diferente de lo que está aquí por el sujeto, all right? Because of the subject. Understand? Yeah. Okay, yes. excellent. So, do you have any questions so far? No, no questions. Question. No questions. Okay, perfect. So, let's see. If you don't have questions for me, I might have questions for you. There you go. Excellent. So, well... Now, people, we have this conversation right here, all right? We are going to, yeah, practice the conversation, of course, but before we practice the conversation, we need to fill the blank spaces, okay? So, for example, it says here, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where? Where? Aha, uh -huh, exactly, right? So, we'll be, where were you born, right? So, we got this one. Oops, excuse me. Where you born? Wait, right, let me like this one. Where were you born exactly? And then it says, I? I was born in I was, South Korea. I, I was, was born in South Korea. Korea. Very good, Korea. excellent. Uh, for this one, what auxiliary are you going to use? Where, where you grow up there? Where you were? Ah, uh -huh. Remember something right here. Acabamos de ver que el verbo to be solamente where es para... Grow? adjetivos y like nouns como las professions, right? Pero acá tengo otro verbo y el verbo to be no se usa para el pasado. Ah, did you, did you, did Entonces you. Sería did, exactly. Did you. Very good. Did you. Did, did you. Uh, you. Did you? Uh -huh. Excellent. So no, uh, I. I didn't. didn't. Mm -hmm. That's the negative for this one. I. I, I grew. Grew up. Grew up. No, the, the, the app is, is, is there. Oh, the app is right. there. That's fine. All right. I grew up in Canada. All right. Mm. Excellent. So like this one. So remember, this is just like, for example, the verb to be. Y este es el auxiliary, pero cuando ya tengo otro verbo diferente. All right. So let's see. Then number two is just right here. Where mm -hmm, you the high school? Uh -huh. What is this one? Maybe where did you go to high school? Mm -hmm. well, exactly, that is correct. So we'll be like, where did you go, right? And then here, the pass of go? When? When, exactly. All right, excellent. So where did you go? I went to high school in Ecuador, Ecuador. All right? There you go. Excellent. So, what's this one? Did you study English when you uh, when you were a child? Did you did study you? English when you were a child? So, that would be, mm -hmm. yes, I did. All right. Yes, I did, which is the, the short part here. All right. And then this one. How old? Teacher. Yes. 
is faulty when you were a child when you were a child when you were oh yes thank you very much like that one for the observation when you were a child thank you uh-huh and then how old uh, where were, were you when you began to study english how old were you when you began to study english i i was i was 11 years old all oh. right so like that one all right great excellent and that's how you say it okay 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 so now i need two volunteers who can help me to read the conversation who's my volunteer number one okay me teacher thank me you teacher. edmundo and edmundo needs someone to read the conversation who is it any other volunteer hello hello Okay, okay, very Maria. good there. Okay, very good. So, okay. Uh, it lady, lady, lady first. Up. Okay. Could you tell me a little about yourself? Where were you from? Uh, I was born in South Korea. Did you grow, grow up there? No, I didn't. I grew up in Canada. Where did you go the high school? I went to high school in Ecuador. Did you study English when you were a, a, chair, a, a child? child? A child. child? Yes, I did. How old were you when you began to study English? I was 11 years old. Wow. John, like you. All right. Sí, no va a compartir eso en el WhatsApp. Of course, no problem. I can share it with you. Perfect. I can definitely share it with you. All right. También se está compartiendo el mundo here in the uh, chat in Zoom. But I can send it, no worries. Okay. One quick sec. What's up, please? Sure, no problem. I can share. I can share it in, in WhatsApp, no problem. Can you, Edmundo? Yeah. All right. No Thank you very much for giving me a hand there. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Did you take the screenshot for this conversation? Did, did you take the screenshot for this conversation? This activity, yes, yes, okay, yes, teacher. Well, let's just continue here and let's just go to the next exercise here. Let's see what I said. All right, so we have two exercises right here. All right, so in the first exercise, it says he'll fill in with was or where, no more, right? Was or where, and the second exercise, it says wasn't or weren't all right so uh, this is for affirmative and this is for negative of course right so let's see i need a volunteer who can help me to read the first sentence yes they mm -hmm. yeah number one they they were in the park they were in the bar they in the park. were in, in the, the park. park excellent thank you very much what about number two? You you were happy last you week. You were happy last week. There you go. You were happy last week. Excellent. She she, she was, was be, busy, busy last, last month. She was busy. Repeat it. Busy last month. Exactly. So she was busy last month. All right. The boy. The boy. The boy was very sad. Very sad. The boy was very sad. Okay, excellent. The children? The children. What's or where? Was. 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 No. The children. It would be where. The children were? Yes. Because remember that children, the word children, it's plural. Yes, plural. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, exactly. teacher. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Thanks, exactly. teacher. You're welcome. All right. And then you go with the next one right here. Now, wasn't or weren't. So, number one, I? I wasn't. I was. I wasn't. Then you see him. Right. So, there you go. Excellent. So, then number two. Number two, it says, we? We weren't. We weren't. Thirsty. 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 All right, and what is thirsty, people? Well, sediento. Sediento, when you want to drink something, of course, all right? And thirsty. then you go with number three. You? You were in here. You were in here, exactly, right? You so, were in here. Teacher, yes. uh, I, I, I used to share, I, I just share the, all the images from, uh, from just uh, and today, too. Oh, thank you very much, Edmundo, for helping yeah, us. Group. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So then, uh, number four. Number four? The book wasn't. The book wasn't on the list. The bus were on the best. And then, what about number five? Weren't. You have weren't. Dirty. There you go. Excellent. Uh, weren't. We're okay. dirty. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So maybe Edmundo, you can take the screenshot for this one as well and share it in the group, please, my friend. Yeah, no problem. All right. Excellent. Thank you. So I got this one. Let me know whenever you're ready so I can continue here. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Now let me clean this screen here so we can continue. Share it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, you share then. All right. Excellent. So now let's see. Everybody now pay attention because the activity we're going to be working on right now, it's for you to create or to make the questions. Okay. So the first sentence you see here is your answer. This is the answer. But if you want to ask the question, what is the question you can ask? For example, it says you were at work. So, what will be the question? Uh, where were you? Uh, where were you? Yesterday. Okay. Where were you uh, yesterday? Okay. Oops, sorry. Where, huh? where were you? you? Where you? Yesterday. Yesterday. Very good. So, where were you yesterday? Thank you. I got the second one there. It was in the garden. Uh, where was it? Okay. So it will be like this one. Where? Where, no, where was it? Was it? Like this yeah. one, right? Yeah. Great. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And then you go with the number three. They were worried. Why, why, I, I say, why uh, were they sad? They were worried. Uh -huh. Well, it could not be why, because normally when we have why, uh, we because. use because, exactly. Yes, right? yes. Okay. So, which one will that be? Mm hmm Any idea? Um, mm, I don't have idea. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right, let me help you with that one right now. So it says right here, like this one, they were worried. It would be like, oops, excuse me. Let me see here. Here is. How were they? Oh, how, how were they? Uh -huh. Just, uh, that like, yes, uh, how are you, how right? You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero ahora, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Sería para ellos. So, how were sí. they? Entonces, how were they? Exactly. There we go. They were worried. Thank All you. right. So, like that one. Thank you. Lucy was present. All right. So, uh-huh. 
What is it? Was Lucy present? Yeah, that's correct. Was Lucy? Uy, I said music, right? So music. Uh, present. Present. Yeah, Lucy was present. Yeah, that's correct. His friends were late. Uh huh. What's this one? His friends were late. Uh huh. What will be the question, my friends? Uh, was no was his friend late? Where? Because they are his friends. His friends, his, his friends. Yeah, where? Where? His friends. Late? Late. Ah, uh, where? Where his friends late? Okay. Where his friends late? Okay. Where his friends late? Exactly. All right. So, like that. Thank you. All right. So, okay. Questions? Questions, questions, no, no, questions? No, no question, no question. Right, don't forget the screenshot on this one also, please. Yes, no problem. Thank you. So I will just go ahead and... The chart. Thank you. Okay, so now let's see. Okay, excellent. So now if you don't have more questions for me, um, there is an activity that I want you to work with. Um. And it's going to be a test, but, you know, not like a common test. All right. So, and then we are going to play a game, of course, right? So online, and you guys are going to have the opportunity to be, um, you know, playing with all those things right there. Let me share right now the, the link so you can join it. I will send it here on the this one right here and I will send it to the group as well so you can say it. okay excellent so the link is in the chat in zoom and it's also in the whatsapp chat all right, so you can see there. And let me just share the screen just for you to see here. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. So you see this one. Waiting for my participants. So please click on the link. Enter your name. Excellent. Los primeros que entren tienen 600 puntos de ventaja, my friends. Woo. The first people who enter, you have 600 points. As an advantage. Yes, 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 yes. All right, all right. So let's see here. Just ever has joined the quiz. And what about the rest? Edmundo, 400 points. Uh -huh. Who else? Who else? Wilbur, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Come on, people. Let's see. Si tienen algún problema con el link, háganmelo saber, please, para ayudarles, of course. Uh -huh. If you have any problem with that test, let me know. Only three people. What happened here? Yes, in science, I am a policeman. Ooh, somebody should speak yeah. in English there. Yes. I, I still have only three people there. What about the rest? 
Magdalena is there. One more and we start. Come on, people. <laughs> Saul, what happens? Where are you here? And the, uh, the test? I, I can't do a speech. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, well, we are going to start the test right now. So if you have questions, science, you can uh, join the test later. For, All right? For, yeah. Thank you, my friends. There you go. All right. Answer the questions, my friends. Thank you. Practicing, keep practicing. Okay, so the game ends because the first person finishes. So let's see, right now we have Edmundo first place, second place Magdalena, and Ever the third place. Very good job, guys. You were doing a fantastic job on that one. Okay, thank you. So, well, hey guys, do you have any questions regarding the, um, the test? Mm -hmm. No questions? want to check the answers okay yes that's actually what happens right there okay very good excellent so well excellent activity oh you're very welcome all right so remember this is an activity that you can practice of course um you know it's not like the common test it's just like a test and at the same time it's a competition so you are competing with your classmates right to competition see rapidition <laughs> a fast competition you know what happens it's that the 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 game finishes when the first person ends the test in this case edmundo finishes the test so he finishes the test for everybody else 
All right. Así que ahí cualquier reclamo con el mundo. Ah, just kidding. All right. So let's see here. Let's see. Okay. Everybody, so do you have any questions so far? About the topic? Oh, teacher. Very good. Congratulations in the dynamic. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So, well, remember, you can also um, go to the platform and complete the class that or the first activity that it was available for today and the one from yesterday as well. Right. So, and uh, ah, something before I let you go, people, something very important that I want to share with you here. It's the following uh, talking about the activities and the platform. Let me see here. Uh, you need to remember that sometimes the platform already has a specific answers, right? Which means there that you cannot um, give another answer. E you have to be careful with something. Please don't confuse this with this. You see? La primera es una tilde, right? Sobre un espacio en blanco. Y la segunda es el apostrofe. Eso es como dice apostrofe. So, for example, si usted escribe en un examen like this, se lo va a tomar como malo, porque no reconoce esta como apóstrofe, sino como tilde. All right? Así que pilas con eso when you are checking that on the test. All right? So, porque a veces eh, me pueden decir, mire, teacher, fíjese que yo sé que la respuesta es así, porque si fico say like, I wasn't there, I wasn't there, for example, this is correct. But the problem here, the system doesn't recognize this one. Entonces, ahí tendríamos que, um, you know, correct this one. So, tendría que ser la correcta, el apostrofe that we're going to use here. Okay, everybody? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Well, that was just from my side. So, I just want to say thank you very much for joining the class today, so for being on time and for participating. Everybody, I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good see night. Tomorrow, see you tomorrow, Tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye, Take care. Bye -bye. Tomorrow, Congratulations, teacher. Thank you, and thank you for participating. Bye-bye.